I'm here with the coach of the India A team, Grandmaster Srinath Narayanan. Uh, Srinath, Olympiad is coming to India and you are the coach of the India A team. That's as big as it gets. Uh, tell us your feelings. I'm really excited and uh, looking forward to it, Sagar. I th- um, it's it's been I always enjoyed uh, working with the Indian team. You know, the best players from India. Uh, my I think my first experience was uh, sometime around the 2019 World Team, captaining the team, and uh, the guys played amazingly well there. Even though you know uh, uh, our top three didn't play, we still finished in the fourth place. And of course, then the 2020 Online Olympiad, the 21 Online Olympiad. It's a pleasure, you know, just being around uh, such amazing players, the best players of the country, and uh, uh, doing whatever you can to help them play at their best. And uh, yeah, so I really, uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I uh, really savor and enjoy this responsibility, and uh, I hope to give my absolute best. Amazing. Uh, uh, Srinath, we want to know a bit more about what's happening in Chennai right now because you are there. There's a training camp that's going on. But first of all, this is your team. Uh, you are the captain of India A team, which has Vidit, Hari Krishna, Arjun, SL Narayanan and Shashikiran. So if we could go one by one through the players, that would be great. First of all, Vidit, someone with whom you have worked with you have played against him in your younger days and now uh, you know uh, you will be he will be the top board of the team uh, tell us a bit about him and you know people have been mentioning that india will miss anand on the top board uh, what are your thoughts of vidit taking the top board we will certainly um, miss vishy on the first board uh, i mean as a He's amazing. He's which he is a once in a generation talent, and, and uh, uh, it's hard to find words to just describe how amazing he is. But on the other hand, uh, I think Vidit is also an incredibly strong player and someone who can take up the responsibility of playing uh, on the first board. He's been there at the twenty seven hundred level for quite a long time now. And uh, he's also been playing a lot more top events in the last uh, mm. two, three years. And uh, from the outside, it looks like he's not making a lot of progress. He seems to be a bit stuck at this 27, 20, 27, 30 zone. But I think he's really making some progress. And uh, it's evident and apparent uh, even in uh, his rapid play now, you know. Yeah. how uh, fluently he's playing and uh, successful consecutive uh, qualifications to the knockout of the Rapid Chess Championship on chess.com in uh, a non-increment format, which has you know never been his comfort zone in the past. But how quickly he has adapted, how quickly he's improved. Uh, all these positive signs. And uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really confident that uh, he can do the job there on... Uh, board number one and I also know that uh, he's going to give his absolute best and he will really enjoy this uh, role that he's playing. I also know with it from a really long time. We have been friends. We have been uh, uh, colleagues. We have worked together uh, professionally. We share a great personal bond. So uh, it's also really nice that I get to be uh, working with him. Whenever I got together with Vidit, we have worked really well. Things have been really fluent. Online on Olymp- 2020 was uh, one such example and before that I've been working with him personally and uh, we share a great rapport, we share an excellent bond. So uh, I really love the fact that uh, with this part of this team I'm uh, captain. Fantastic, yeah, that's that's very true what you said that uh, whenever the two of you have worked together, uh, it has resulted in great results. So. Uh, let's hope that that happens here as well. Moving on, we have uh, next uh, Hari Krishna. Uh, tremendous player, has reached as high as 2760. But in recent times, he has been looking a bit shaky. Uh, and you know, at, I think at some point his rating also went below 2700. Uh, 
what would be your take on him and how do you think he will rise up to the challenge for the olympiad uh, which is around two and a half months away having a player of uh, hari krishna stature is also i think a massive asset uh, to the team uh he has always turned up and played excellently for india and he hasn't lost a single game in the last two olympiads that he has played mm. 2018 and 2016 performing about 2800 in both these olympiads so you know he's been there he's played uh, on board one in the past and played against the best in the world yes he has had a bit of a uh, lean run by his standards in recent times but uh but we have to you know just to give some perspective he dropped below 2700 once in live ratings that you know not published ratings and the prodigy kids the amazing juniors that we have not a single one of them have reached 2700 yet and hari krishna has never dropped below 2700 in almost the last 10 years so i think that should tell you how strong he is uh it it looks it looks a bit lean but that's because you know of the very high standards that he has set in the past and in any case the point of uh, having the camps early uh, getting the players uh, together early and working with them as you know to uh, ensure that they get themselves in the optimal shape for the olympiad begins you know when they are playing they get to the best uh, shape that they can reach their best potential and that's the whole point of having uh, the preparation the camps and everything and uh, i'm confident that uh, he will be at his best when uh, the olympiad uh, takes place and and is hari here in chennai for the camp right now or uh, he he's uh hari isn't in chennai for the may camp but he is following the sessions online from zoom and uh, there are also a few uh, one on one interactions that uh, we are having and uh, discussing from time to time uh, not just me but also boris with uh, hari and uh, uh, he will be part of the pre olympiad camp that we'll be having in uh, july as well so then the team will uh, uh, properly get together in person fantastic uh, and then on the a uh, third highest rated player in the team we have arjun erigesi someone with whom you have worked so closely right now you are traveling everywhere with him in fact you are his trainer um first olympiad for arjun debut uh, do you think he will have a lot of i mean we are following him and we are seeing his performances everyone is in awe of him do you think that will put pressure on him uh he will certainly feel a little bit of pressure and a little bit of awe uh, it is his first uh, major event after all though. i mean he has played some pretty strong events but olympiad is uh, uh, different in a way that it's a team event and uh, the expectations uh, you are carrying is not just of your own or people around you but uh, of a lot more people so uh, there might be a bit of uh, added expectations there uh, which he will have to learn to handle cope up with but uh, i'm confident that he has it and i'm to be able to block everything out and be able to do that he is not a person uh, who is uh, new to you know making these sensational debuts mm. and uh, as long as he keeps things simple and keeps doing what he does well i think he's going to have a really uh, amazing uh, olympiad debut in the, the first tournament for india uh i am confident that uh, within his mind it will just be like another open tournament that he's playing yeah yeah and you know with arjun who's growing up we never know like what is his actual strength right now so it could very well be that he's another 2700 plus player in the team um yeah actually that's the greatest asset uh, you have with uh, juniors because you know ignorance is bliss so they have no idea what they are not capable of <laughs> and uh, that really helps because they can really uh, uh, push that ceiling very high uh, when uh, you get a bit more mature you find you don't have that kind of a tunnel vision you uh, set boundaries for yourself uh, it just comes automatically but when you're in your youth you just have no idea what the limits are and that is really helpful if uh, it's honed properly absolutely very nicely said uh and then we have sl narayanan who is 
you know quietly moving up the ranks he's reached 2662 and one of the strongest grandmasters of our country often uh, people have mistaken him for you uh, because of the similarity of the name Srinath Narayanan SL Narayanan but tell us a bit about uh, SL and what are your feelings about him as a player SL is actually a very strong player you know um He's been the kind of player that even uh, Vedat and Arjun have had some difficulty in their uh, uh, one-on-one encounters in the past. I remember there was this game in 2019 when uh, Vedat was the first in an Aeroflot Open. He played against uh, SL in the first round, who was about 25-99. And uh, SL got better very quickly with uh, the black pieces, I think. And uh, was having the upper hand for most part of the game, although it ended in a draw. And uh, he has a great head-to-head score against uh, Arjun. So, you know, talking about... Uh, how we all know how strong Vidit and Arjun are. Uh, so for someone to have a good personal uh, equation against people of such strength, you can imagine uh, what uh, SL's capabilities are. He's uh, unfortunately not as well known as uh, the other players in general, which is a bit of a pity. And I think uh, just unfortunate on his part. Uh, he's only 24 years old. And he has a rating of 2662, which by general standards is actually uh, really, really good. But since we have had this golden generation of juniors who have uh, reached uh, incredible heights uh, under the age of 18, I think SL has gotten a bit overshadowed uh, by his peers. Uh, Again, um, completely unfortunate, not under his control. But the things which has been under control, which is, you know, just going out there, playing games, improving, playing good moves. Uh, he's been doing that really well. And uh, he has, I think, uh, been one of the most consistent improvers in the last uh, few months since the world reopened. And uh, that's the reason why he's in the 18. He has gotten there by his rating. Mm. He has increased his rating quietly, but consistently. Yeah, absolutely. I think this will be his chance to shine and to prove that you know he is he's one of the best uh, and then you have uh, shashikiran who is uh, the fifth uh, board and also one of the most experienced players in the country and when it comes to the olympiads he has the highest number of games that someone has played at the olympiad so uh, do you would you consider that having shashikiran in the team adds that experience angle or would you say that uh, maybe there was a junior could have been there? What is your uh, feeling about it? Uh, I think we uh, this helps us get that ideal uh, balance with between experience and youth. Because on uh, uh, the number three and the number four rated player in the team, they are playing the first ever Olympiad, you know. And uh, to have an option of, having a player who has played the most number of Olympiad games for India, it gives us that option and that ideal mix. You can field either someone who is raw and in, young, or you can field someone who has the most amount of experience. It really gives us that option and variety. Uh, there are pros and cons with any team combination. There are pros and cons with any of the players that you have. Uh, so it's really not possible to say this is the best. I want this. But I think my job is to, you know, get the best out of what is the, the players who are there. And uh, as far as the players are concerned, I think I have nothing to complain at all. It's a really strong team. Mm. Uh, all of these players are uh, uh, exceptionally strong players. They have their uh, own strengths. We have uh, two really young players who are playing the uh, Olympiad for the first time. And I think the first time for the team India. And uh, we have these two very experienced players who have played in so many events for Team India. And whenever they played for India, they all, always performed a bit above their uh, uh, existing rating, which also speaks a lot about uh, what it means for them to play for India and how seriously they take it. Uh, these things generally not... Uh, so apparently visible because people, you know, don't dig into how they perform when playing for India and uh, their general uh, rating. But uh, they have performed uh, always at a higher rating, at a better level than uh, uh, their existing ratings on average for the most part. 
and of course uh, so we have two really experienced players two first timers and uh, weathered perfectly in the middle you know neither uh, uh, in his 30s nor in his teens he's mm. at his prime uh, the the age where every player uh, is at that ideal mix of uh, experience he's been there at the top for many years but also has that energy of the youth the leftover energy so to speak amazing yeah that's great analysis and uh, shrinath that is something which we love you know talking to you you give us insights which are not apparent on the surface and that's the reason why i want to show you one more picture and get your thoughts on this team because uh, it's a team of youngsters uh, nihal gukesh prag raunak and right youngsters and adiban <laughs> you have the beast adiban there uh, what what do you feel about this team do you think uh, i of course i would also talk with ramesh who is the coach of that team but just your feeling uh, of uh, this is a really exciting team which uh, has a potential which is uh, well above their uh, what their rating reflects uh, all of uh, sorry uh, most of them juniors not all of them <laughs> and uh, i think adiban is like a junior at heart no exactly exactly what i was thinking and also mentioning in uh, dinner on uh, one of the days uh, it, it's a really exciting team and uh, to be honest uh, i think uh, we have at least uh, two teams which are in uh, contention for the medal because of you know how strong uh, the b team is uh, although one uh, drawback of that is you know they are also one of the contenders and we have only three spots so uh, it can go either way depending on whether we play each other or not uh, but it's going to be exciting uh, i think the b team is also an incredibly strong team a very exciting team and uh, they have uh, they, they are also captained by the person who captained the indian team to its only ever medal in uh, the history mm-hmm. of olympiad and uh, an amazing coach who i think uh, who is perhaps one of the most experienced in india and uh, who was also my initial coach so in uh, a way who taught me how to play chess as well as how to teach chess mm. so i am also really excited and look forward to how the b team uh, fares uh, i think we have uh, two really really promising teams out there uh, differently balanced yeah. one of them is i think a bit more balanced and the other one is just you know raw with a lot of energy uh, but yeah both 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 the teams have their strengths and weaknesses and uh, both both the teams are i think um, in contention to compete with the very best fantastic uh, and uh, shrinath we want to ask you about the training camp that is currently going on in chennai Uh, we see that uh, so many <coughs> players are there uh, so many i can see on the left there are uh, a few of the faces which are not players there is uh, sankalp gupta swayams mishra shyam sundar vaibhav suri boris gelfand has come even humpy who usually doesn't attend too many training sessions uh, training camps is here vishi anand was here uh, training this camp so how's the atmosphere in chennai Uh, the atmosphere is uh, it's excellent there is a lot of uh, intense work uh, during the day and in the evenings we just uh, catch up and have a lot of fun in fact um, even we were scheduled to do this uh, interview much earlier but i was sitting at the dinner and uh, i and with it were you know with all these uh, other uh, kids and we were just having a lot of fun that i just couldn't get up at that time and we had to schedule it at to to a later time uh that's that's also one of the important aspects of uh, having the training camp one is the chess training part and the other is team bonding itself uh this camp is not just the a team camp but it's for the top 6 indian players so uh, it also has uh, nihal and gukesh who uh, are playing for the b team but when uh, when we set out uh, doing the camp we had no idea who would play for the a team who would play for the b team it was just for the top 6 players and since hari krishna was not attending in person uh, gukesh was uh, at number 
and uh, there are three coaches from india so for the men it's one of them is me and uh, sankal and vaibhav are uh, part of the support staff and it's 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 really nice to have someone like sankal for example in the team because uh, he's working uh, insane hours he's is uh, so some, young, some, right? he's he's 19 exactly he's just 18 years mm-hmm. old so in a way i guess what we uh, the b team has young players and the a team has young coaches <laughs> <laughs> and uh, having someone you know who is just 18 um, it it gives us like one and a half times uh, the person one and a half times the hours because he has incredible reserves of stamina he can just work till 4 and then he can wake up at 8 and continue working and uh, uh, we also have uh, so there's also me who can uh, oversee the work and uh, add that bit of experience which i think can uh, come in uh, useful and vibhav i think is probably simply the strongest player who is not uh, who will probably not be part of the indian uh, mm. team playing in the zone in pad he's at 2600 yeah in fact i think he's rated about 2600 mm. but he hasn't been able to play in a really long time uh, due to covid uh, lockdown and uh, some health issues that he has been having but uh, in terms of strength he is uh, yeah. yeah he's right up there he's at 2600 he plays at that level so he has that experience and uh, he's also i think just about 24 years old and uh, not lacking in any way in terms of energy uh, so i'm really happy with this uh, uh, team we have which will help the players and uh, it's uh, it's also it's also people we have worked with earlier like i have worked with uh, uh with it i have worked with arjun sankal has worked with uh, some of these players in the past he is working with them right now and uh, <coughs> yeah uh, vibhav has also you know been part of these uh, inter petroleum uh, mm. teams so they also uh, played in the same team some of the players with vibhav and uh, worked with him uh so it's not it's not like we are uh, meeting here for the first time we already have the track out and uh, uh the connection the personal uh, bond and uh, for the women uh, we have abhijit punte the head coach and uh, the chief selector of indian team and uh, with him is uh, sham sundar and swayam mishra who are uh, i think two of the most successful coaches in india mm. and what i observed was most of the top women players they are personally trained by either sham or swayams uh, especially in age group uh, chess yeah. so they have already been there they have already trained and helped uh, the top girls uh, succeed and uh, i think they are great additions for the uh, women's uh, team and uh, people who i have a lot of respect for in general as uh, players and coaches yeah and also we have sopnil even even in the like, yeah. as one of the trainers of the b team <laughs> yes sopnil is uh, helping the b team uh, ramesh is captaining uh, sopnil is captaining the b team the women's b team ramesh sir is captaining the uh, men's uh, b team but there will be more uh, coaches ah. uh, for the b team as well okay which uh, there will be more people helping more people behind the scenes and uh, uh, even in the camp here whenever i see uh, sham or uh, swayam they are you know always working with someone all the time uh, with full focus that uh, they even barely notice me coming there or you know looking at uh, their direction yeah this is tremendous i am so impressed by the entire setup like there's uh, you know and also all the trainers are indians also all the all the seconds are indians which shows the depth of indian training as well you know the indian uh, trainers as well as seconds yeah and of course i have to add that uh, having uh, someone like boris gelfand here in the camp mm-hmm. uh, is also uh, it also gives uh, Uh, a lot of added value because he's been there he's done that he's gone through the grind he's played at the very highest level he's been a world championship challenger uh, he's been in the situation where these young juniors were at some point 
himself and he's also been in the situation where uh yeah he's also been in the situation where uh, hari krishna and uh, shashikran are right now he's been past that age whereas uh, i can only imagine what it feels like at that uh, age so having him had his inputs that also gives a lot of uh, added value and for both the players as well as the coaches who observe him in the camp how he goes about his things what positions he shows what he pays attention to and all the different aspects tremendous and finally shrinath we want to ask you you were the coach of the indian teams in the online olympiad in 2020 and 21 how would the role be different how how different is it uh, and over the board olympiad and online olympiad uh so the similarity between 2020 olympiad and uh, the 2022 olympiad is that uh, in 2020 i worked uh, very closely with with it he was uh, the captain and uh, i can also get uh, very similar inputs from him this time as the highest rated player so i think that's uh, one similarity and uh, the difference is that uh, the level of support is of course massively different in 2020 online olympiad uh, it was literally with it and me uh, doing every single thing related to the team you know uh, from uh, try- arranging uh, electricity and internet connections and um, making sure the players internet connections don't drop all the different things uh, we were uh, handling but uh, in terms of infrastructure uh, it's a massively different game this time and uh, now with the federation it's almost like we have this uh, uh, lamp with the magic genie you know what do the players want the federation is instantly ready to provide it they are like we want coaches yes coaches we want this this um the federation is uh, totally committed to providing whatever the players uh, require the format itself is uh, completely different it was a 12 player format this is a five player format so uh, four players play in uh, five boats and there is not a lot of wiggle room to you know uh, change around the board orders and stuff here it's a lot more about uh, getting these players one on one contests and uh, a lot of uh, preparation uh, chess part of preparation coming on the board it's uh, a lot more based on the technical aspects of chess and uh, uh, it's a classical event whereas the online olympiad it was uh, six boards 12 players a lot of wiggle room to make these changes and uh, things like that but yeah. uh, it was a rapid event so it didn't require uh, preparation of the same level the opening preparation was uh, completely different it was more about you know getting familiar positions rather than uh, getting advantages or catching your opponent in preparation so it's a uh, there are a lot of differences in terms of um, the things required i think in this format and that format but uh, the similarities are basically the players and uh, people fantastic uh, well shrinath uh, we wish you good luck for this uh, and uh, it's such a big event happening in india so many people are excited and uh, i think the players are excited you yourself are extremely focused for for this event and we hope that team india wins a medal in this thank you thank you thank you so much sir